welcome to my humble garage. We're not allowed to ride during lockdown, so I thought I'd have a look at my belt. I'm going to check the tension, condition and adjustment of the belt. Stick around and I'll show you how it's done. The first thing you need to do on your belt is you need to check the condition of it. The first thing to do is clean it with soapy water on the inside and the outside, but be careful. You don't get your finger trapped. It's going to take the tip of your finger off if you turn that wheel and it's there, so be careful. These are the teeth. And then you've also got the condition of the sprocket just here. So you're looking for any undo wear, any marks, chips or damage. On the inside of the belt, you're looking for any cracks that may be in your teeth. And on the outside of the belt, you're looking for the same thing, any damage or cracks that may be there. Now if you have a look at the alignment of my belt, it's actually slightly out because I've recently put a new pair of Michelin Road 5s on, which I love. I was adjusting the belt very slightly. On a chain you can get away with it because you've got your sprockets and you've got your chain actually fitted into it. And if it's very badly out, what it'll do is it'll wear on one or the other side of the sprockets. But unfortunately with the belt, if you're not careful, it could actually come off the sprocket, which is very serious. You can see here that the belt is slightly out. The manufacturer's recommended gap between the edge of this sprocket and the actual belt is about a millimetre and you can see there it's possibly two, two and a half millimetres. I need the bike to bring the belt in slightly to the left. I picture my hand as being the back of the sprocket and I picture my other hand as being the belt. So which way does the wheel have to move to get the belt to move in or out? Imagine if I was the sprocket here and I turn the sprocket slightly that way then the, the belt's going to slide that way. And if it goes that way, the belt's going to slide that way. So I need to turn the wheel so that the belt goes inward slightly. That will be that way. So the wheel needs to go that way, which will be pulling it backwards ever so slightly on the right. Let's do that. So what we have here is a Torx T45 socket, or tool, <laughs> tool. <laughs> and I know that this needs turning maybe um, a sixteenth or an eighth of a turn. That's going to bring it around to about there, and that's just drawn the wheel back ever so slightly. Let's tighten the wheel up and give it a roll and see what happens to the belt. I'm just going to turn the wheel several times. You can see that's moved the belt in slightly. Just one sixteenth of a turn has made all that difference. You can just see the teeth underneath there. It's about a millimetre away. And that's spot on. Let's check the tension. There are two ways to check the tension of a belt. One way is to use the Cricut belt checker and the other one is to use an app. So I'm going to do both ways and I'm going to show you how this works. You're supposed to check the tension of the belt in between the two sprockets and at several times around the belt. So let's start between the two, which is about here. The pointer needs to be reset and then middle of the sprocket is just there and press gently until it clicks and then stop. Turn it around and then you read off from where that dips into the body which was about 45. So let's try it again in a different place. Reset, press till it clicks, and then take the reading, which there was about 55 kgs. So that's acceptable. Some people say that they don't think these are very accurate. I found on this bike that it doesn't make a difference whether it's on the side stand or the centre stand. It's, it's almost an identical reading. It's about 50-55 kgs again. I'm going to use an app now, which is called Carbon Drive. And I'm going to twang the belt with this spanner, because the spanner is quite round edged, it's not going to do any damage. If you try and twang it with your finger it actually hurts. So I'm going to press to get it started. Stay quiet. So turn the belt round and try again. I 
and that's reading 67. Let's try it at a different place. So you're looking at around 58 to 67 hertz. Let's see what it should be. It says 62 to 82 hertz, so that's actually within the tolerances. That's good news. I'm going to test it now. Normally I take it down the road and back up, but sometimes, because I've got the main stand on this, I can spin it while it's on the stand. Warning, be careful spinning wheels when they're on main stands. Do not stick tong in drive. And that was running to about 45 miles an hour. And yep, that's about a millimetre. I hope you've enjoyed this. I'll speak to you all soon. Bye-bye.